Hey guys, today I want to talk about expat issues and how to resolve them. Because a lot of times I get calls from friends. A lot of my friends are friends amongst each other. Um, and sometimes, you know, I, I hear that they're not talking or um, this one's fighting with this one or something was said down in Dumaguete to somebody up in Angeles or, or whatever and it hurt their feelings and they're never going to talk to them again or whatever. And usually it's over petty stuff. It's really kind of funny when they tell me why they stopped talking because usually when I get into a subject like that, either I just let them vent, you know, let them go off and, and rather than fight with them, I just kind of stay quiet because it's not my subject. But sometimes I'll tell somebody, I really don't want to talk about that right now. I'm really not in the mood. And, you know, I'm trying to stay positive on that subject. So I don't want to, you know, talk about this right now. And if they try to keep it up, I'll just say, please, I just really don't want to talk about it right now. And usually they stop at the second time. Three times, then three strikes, you're out. You know, then, you know, then I just get up and say, look, I'm done. I don't want to talk about this conversation anymore. It doesn't mean I'm enemies with them. Just say, I'll talk to you later. You know, say, I just really don't want to, I really don't want to talk about the subject. I've already told you twice. Okay. And that's it. You know, um, I think that's the best way to handle things like that. But we get a lot of expats over here. I'm not sure if it's like maturity, um, mental health issues, um, but they seem to get repetitive. Like they have like a, um, a pattern after a while with certain people and we have that issue here too with some people. We have about four or five people like that over here. They kind of take things from wherever they come from, their, 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 um, their past or whatever, and they kind of keep on taking that past with them. And I think when you come over here, you kind of have to take on a more peaceful attitude. At least for me, it's worked for me. I try not to make any enemies over here. I'm not saying I don't have enemies over here. I, I'm sure I do. Um, but with most people, I st try to stay friendly with. If if I became enemies with with somebody over here, it's usually something that they started getting so out of control about that I just walked away from it, okay? But most people I'm pretty friendly with over here. All the vloggers around here, I try to, you know, keep the peace with them. And I, and I really do. And when I s speak about another vlogger, and I don't watch most of these other vloggers, occasionally I do. You know, I, 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 I speak out of compassion that, that, you know, I might disagree with something on their channel, the way they, they run the channel or something like that. But, I, you know, I also speak about the good points of that channel too. Because most of the channels out there do have some good points. Some of them don't, you know, but I mean the majority of them do. I don't watch most of the really um, hardcore channels out there that, that do things that I don't like. I just kind of stay away from that. But I want to get back on this because, you know, as, as, as expats over here, we're going to find other expats that we strongly disagree with. And it's okay not to hang out with those type of people because those people don't bring good, uh, I don't know how to say it, karma or, or bring peace into your life or whatever. They're just a different type of person. They have different qualities in you and you guys have nothing in common. I get that, okay? I fully understand that part. But most of the time, most of us have things in common that at least we can be friend, friends or friendly, you know, and not be enemies, okay? It's, it's just part of life that we have to kind of deal with a certain amount of um, people's BS or, 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 or kind of listen to people. And sometimes people just want to vent. We're not in the mood to listen to it, but, you know, something, maybe that person's having a bad day and they just need to vent. So, we, we, you know, sometimes it's good to just, just be an ear. Um, and just listen to them and let them, let them vent or whatever. And I have friends of mine that call me sometimes and, you know, they just want somebody to talk to or something. something. I have tons of friends like that, they, you know, and it's okay. I, 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 I you know, I want to be here for them too. And I want to let them know that, you know, they're my friend. Of course, you know, you, you, you love your friends. And we, we tend to, in today's world, I think we've kind of lost that love for humanity because of what's going on in the world today. And, you know, over here, like me, I'm trying to form the expat, expat community over here and, and bring in expats. And I want to bring in positive expats. I want to bring in positive people, people that stay positive, not negative. And I think sometimes it's when the two people are fighting, sometimes it's a little bit of both. One of the people is staying negative 
and the other person's trying to stay positive and then they just kind of stop talking or whatever, you know, and it just kind of stays that way. But I mean, we all need to kind of stay on a positive level and, you know, and I understand if somebody's trying to stay positive, by all means, keep stay with that, stick with that positivity, but just tell the other person if they're getting negative or whatever, say, hey, listen, you know, um, I know you feel this way about this, but you know, I'm trying to stay positive right now and I'm just trying to, you know, stay in that groove and you're talking about something negative about what I'm trying to stay positive about right now. And I, I really don't want to talk about that because of the fact that it's, it's, it's messing me up right now. And I really don't want to talk about that because I'm trying to stay happy, you know, and, and I, I believe in what I believe and I know you believe in what you believe, but let's just leave it at that and remain friends and talk about a different subject. Okay. It's, it's, it's as easy as that sometimes to try to change the subject and try to keep it on a positive note with your friend. And a lot of us forget that when we're talking to somebody, they also have feelings too. Even if they're talking about something that you don't like, just try to keep it in a friendly mode and stay, stay peaceful. You know, I tell people, you know, keep the peace you know, amongst your friends, uh, amongst the expat community, and not just amongst the ex expat community, but amongst everybody. Try to keep it peaceful. Um, one thing I learned over here is don't get in feuds with Filipinos or expats over here. It just doesn't help your situation because it's not gonna be good. I mean, we've had some expats over here that were atrocious to people that lived around them. They were just rude, obnoxious, and the people around them, when the guy needed help or something, they weren't there for him. And, and can you blame them? You know, because they got, the guy got sick and the guy was always nasty to everybody else. So what happened was, you know, when he became sick and he needed help, guess what? They said, we're not going to be there for you. You treated us badly for all these years or whatever. So why are we going to be there, f you know, when you need us? And I get that, you know, and a lot of expats don't get that because over here, if you're living over here, you're living here in somebody else's country, okay, and on somebody else's turf, and you got to kind of keep the peace and have like a, a I, what I say is like a loving way about your, or a happy way and be friendly to everybody, live in that, in, in peace with people because you need that. We need that in life today. We need that in the world today we need that peace and i think when we throw people out of our lives for petty stuff i think we we we, we hurt the world more than we 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 try to fix it i mean yeah it might be fixing your world for a second because you got this negativity out of your life but you like i said there's a way to to stop that with the person say listen i really don't want to talk about that right now but let's talk about something else because i really don't want to talk about that subject if they keep trying to get it going just say Look, I'll talk to you later, you know, and then call them up a couple days later or whatever. And just say, you know, I, I just wasn't in the mood to talk about that that day because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, do whatever. I'm trying to stay positive and on note or whatever, you know, on, on, on task, you know. And in my life, positivity is everything. I try to stay positive all the time about everything here. And I have my days too. Okay, and I, and I get it. And when somebody calls me up and tries to drag me down or something like that, um, some people say, well, I'm trying to drag you back to re reality or whatever. It's really not dragging me back to reality because I'm trying to stay focused on something that I'm trying to fix or I'm trying to do or whatever. And somebody's trying to pull me off that platform further. And I, I, I'm just not in the mood for it. And you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I, I'm trying to say, I understand everybody needs to stay, stay on task for positivity. But don't hurt people trying to stay there. Keep keep the peace always, guys. You know, especially amongst our ex, the, us expats here, we need to keep a, a, a lot more peace here and, and stay in touch with each other because, you know, some of us are going to have needs someday. Some of us are going to be sick someday. Some of us might go in the hospital someday. And guess what? We're gonna, you know, we might want a friend sitting by the bed or something when we're really sick or whatever. And, you know, it might be that guy that's sitting next to your bed for a couple of days looking after you, coming in, checking in with you every day to make sure you're okay in the hospital because you got nobody else here. So be careful what you, what, you, what you do, guys, because friendships are everything, okay? Don't destroy a friendship over petty stuff. It's not worth it. You know, I understand, like I said, when people are negative, 
and they're, they're, they're just bringing bad stuff into your life all the time. I understand about staying away from people like that. We have a few of those here. We have like five, ten, five, ten. Some people say it's high as 30 percent or whatever. I'm not sure if it's that high. I don't think it's that high. I got like a mosquito here and he's bugging me. But anyway, you know, just just remember what I said, guys. And let's keep the peace amongst us expats for real, you know, as much as we can. Is, you know, and I understand there are some toxic expats out there and just walk away from them. That's the easiest way to do it. But God bless, guys. Keep the peace.